Insulated curtains make a home warm and cozy. Plus, they save energy, not just to heat, but also to cool. To increase the number of homes with insulated curtains, volunteers at the Curtain Bank in Wellington, New Zealand upcycle donated curtains for families in need. Amanda Ashby, the coordinator for this effort, explains the process. We take second-hand curtains that are donated from the public and we assess them and we line them and we do whatever sewing adjustments we need and then we send them out to low-income families. The best practice is a full drop curtain from having the track above the window all the way to the ground, having it as flat to the wall as possible so that no air gets in and out and also as thick as possible. A donation with fabric that isn't thick enough can still be useful. We'll strip off the curtain tape um, and unknot it and use that and we'll take the hooks off like this costs $2 a metre so we don't want to buy it new. Same with the hooks, hooks are ridiculously expensive too but um, with the fabric itself we will then hand it out usually for free to community partners. These community partners include groups that make quilts for neonatal care and women's shelters. So yeah, we're always trying to do our best. Um, if we get beautiful vintage fabric, which gets me very excited, we will sell it on our Trade Me account, like eBay, um, and the money goes back to help fund us. What about like curtain rugs? Oh yes, if you turn around. So if we do 2,000 pairs of curtains, we would probably send out 300 curtain tracks. So a lot of our families just, you know, they might have had the tracks and they're broken. So they're all donated too and David's out there right now. He takes them, sorts them, makes sure it's got all the screws and the glides and the brackets. The local electric company started funding the project in 2010. As the program has expanded to other cities, other funders have come on board to support the effort, saving energy and creating warm, dry, healthy homes.